viewers, we are here again for the Blood Giant Show podcast. Woo! What is he coming with this time? I don't know. It's a question in the minds of my audience but you see this time i'm coming so soft i'm coming so easy and i'm not going to get it hard on you my guest is a calm guest this time around calm guest but of course we are going to be talking about the social media the abuse of it the benefit of it the importance and all that you need to know about the social media we'll also dive into how to make money you understand now money with the platform of the social media and today i am hosting one very important friend of mine when it comes to social media he doesn't just have the head knowledge he has the practical knowledge of everything that has to do with the social media he's a certified microsoft professional if you know what that means you should know that today is going to be a day that you should take out all the data you have on your phone for this section ladies and gentlemen distinguished guests and ladies let's give it up to mr ezekiel obole master zeke <laughs> thank you very much for having me Zico. thanks for coming for around time. yes it always feel like home to be here of course it is and home i'm excited I'm some people doesn't know that when you say black giant you're talking about certain people yeah. like mr ezekiel yeah you know when you say black giant they're looking at mr lawrence but yeah. <laughs> let me shock you the logo you see out there that you admire so, so much it was designed by mr ezekiel the concept the idea behind it he just i just told him do something for black giant and he designed the logo let's have mr ezekiel so mr zeke you are welcome to the black giant show and we appreciate your presence now i did my own introduction based on the level of understanding and based on what i know about you but i, I believe you're going to do more elaboracy to it so let's meet you well thank you very much like i say earlier it's always good to be home mm -hmm. and black giant uh, Black Giant Signature and all of its subsidiaries mm. means home to me. Of course. So it's safe to say I am home. You are home. And thanks <laughs> for having me. My name is Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel Obole. I'm, like you said earlier, a certified Microsoft professional. Mm. I've been a digit on this digital space for quite a while, over a decade, and wow. I've transgressed and evolved from one phase to the other. And uh, on the subject you're referring to today, mm -hmm. I believe I've gathered the rights, <laughs> the certification and of authority course. to speak on this. Profoundly because I am also one who exists on the social media space mm. and I'm also a human being with that tendency to socialize. That's right. Putting this together, I think both the digital and the tendency to socialize, mm. I think it's good to say I'm qualified to speak. Qualified to speak. So here we go, yes. Mr. Ezekiel Obole. Yes. My first question for you today, yes. yeah, since we're talking about social media, is what is social media? Um, well, from the very basic and from the fundamental side, mm. there's no mystery to what social media is. Just take it from the concept social and media. Mm. It simply means a medium for socializing. But you can't adequately define social media as just a medium for socializing without including technology. That's right. And if you look at it critically, medium for socializing has been with us through the, the times. Mm. Why? Definitely. Because, yes. Why I say this is because socializing is very much part of our human tendencies. Mm. In fact, Humans are called social beings. That's right. And like I said, through the times of the primitive eras of our four forefathers, mm. they have been socializing, although in a very primitive way. Yes. And it started from town crying within a small setting. Mm. It graduated into the era of radio. Mm. Then television added its own strand. Mm. And then it graduated into what we have today. The only difference from the traditional means to what we have today is that technology had assisted that's to right. promote and boost the presence and visibility mm. in how we socialize to a point that the walls that used to separate continents has been broken, has been broken. Mm. so much that you can interact with someone that is continent apart as if you are in the same space and in mm. the same time from different time zone before now before now people 
people uh, before the advent of social media to a yeah. point people saw it as something strange I could remember uh, the point where uh, 5G came up. Yeah. People started saying it, it's demonic, it's this, yeah. it's that. You know, we, we had that experience even before this time. Yes, but all of a sudden, we all practice it. You know, I mean, we all use that platform uh, for, for, for what we're doing yeah. now. Do you think there's something about to happen through the social media platform yeah. that will still be more strange than what it's happening okay. now? It's good you add this question. Mm. But humans have not changed really if you look mm. at it and what i mean by this is that every new thing will always resist change every mm. new every new thing humans will always resist change mm. until they begin to see to understand the true intention behind it that's right but every time you want to introduce change to a space because it's going to contain with the things you're familiar with that's right people put up defense true resistance that's true but sooner rather than later when you begin to reap from the benefits of those things they you begin to adjust their position that's right so it's <laughs> not strange to find that i guess it's not point. strange to find people resist it from its concept mm. and now the same people who criticize it are benefiting solidly that's from me today that's true. so you see that okay my next question uh yeah. mr zeke what is the intention of the social media platform uh let me go this way mm. when you talk of intention mm. let me look at it from the angle of those people who are in charge of creating those systems or those mm. platforms yes that enable us to socialize yes to be fair and honest to the likes of the Mark Zuckerberg, the Elon Musk, mm. or the X. To be fair to them, mm. I want to truly say that their intention for creating or initiating that innovation that allows mm. us to socialize mm. is pure. Okay. And if we leave social media within the framework of just being a tool, mm. social media is a very important tool for socializing and communicating. Mm. That is if we leave it as a tool. As a tool. But when you begin to look beyond just social media as a tool, you begin to allude several meanings to it. Mm. For instance, social media had graduated from just being a tool, which was the original intention of the creators, into becoming something that is determining how we live today. Mm. It started as an assistive tool mm. to assist us in doing and communicating yes socializing mm. but today it has now become something that is determining how what and how we do things even physically and on online mm. you understand so if we had left it within the framework of okay it's just a tool everything would have been far, fair and good but right now it has That's become a be determining honest. tool mm. determining and deciding how we live socialize and interact Within that framework, you now begin to see that it comes with challenges here. Do you think we are really maximizing the social media space? Uh, it's not a direct yes or a no answer. Okay. Because social media is two-way. Mm. Yes. One of which is yes to an extent. Some persons who truly understand what is meant for mm. are using it. But on the other end, there are people who are not mentally or intellectually developed yes, to, to use it well. And it's a desert, it's a jungle of mixed crowd. Mm. It's a jungle of mixed crowd. And you can't give what you don't have. What you don't have. So there are people who are cooking contents that aberrate and interfere with our cultural space so much that it is polluting the system and causing a lot of I, I was I was even coming to that. In yeah. the name of using the platform of the social media, mm. You know, in the name of using the platform of the social media, we've seen all kinds of content. Some of which uh, is not good for children. Mm. Some of which is not even good for adults. You know, so how do you think one can uh, regulate the use of social media for positive impact? Yes, you see, to be frank with you, anything that is consumed by, by many people, mm. the issue of regulating it is a little bit difficult. I see. But thankfully, since it's technology, yes, technology can be used to regulate it. But you know, some places like our own geographical locations, mm. there's always going to be a way to outsmart even the algorithms. Mm. Otherwise, the creators of social medias 
I can't tell you how many litigations that Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp is having to face right now to speak to you. Hmm. Are you aware that currently they are threatening to, um, Mark Zuckerberg is threatening to close down WhatsApp in Nigeria? I was told. Good. And these are because of some of those things because it's believed by the government of the day that they are using the platform, you know, to prevent a lot of things that they should be doing. Hmm. Now, you can't entirely regulate it because you can't start going door to door not telling to door. people how to use this thing. Hmm. And if I want to be fair with the likes of Mark Zuckerberg and the rest, hmm. they have done a little bit fine with algorithms. There are certain things that if you say or post, or post hmm. they bring it down. Instantly. That's true. That's true. That is the work of an algorithm. Okay. But again, humans are humans. They will always find a way to outsmart yeah, those things. <laughs> That's they true. can use beep to mm. shut down that section however the message has been passed would you blame the likes of Mark Zuckerberg for those of things? course not so it's a polluted space and we have the good and bad we have to find a way to mingle wow that's true we have to find a way to mingle because what is going on now especially now that the Nigeria social media space has been monetized everybody the name of posting content yes, yes. you just see all kinds of things but that takes me to my next question what are the positive impacts of the social media platform okay primarily mm. because of the visibility mm. because of the fact that social media is anti-geographical graphically limited yes is is not geographically limited it's not yes because of that single reason mm. a lot of things can happen that's right one meta today exists and that has created the most easiest way for anybody who is into business to do business. That's one of the advantages. Yeah, it's true. Well, what I mean by this is, many times ago, people would have to depend and budget for having a space to do business. Mm. But today, I can't count how many persons that I have personally assisted. And to open a business platform. To show you, they are doing even much more than Better than someone that has a shop. Mm. And they are selling just from the comfort of their home. Hmm. You get that? Now? That's right. One of the positive benefits of social media. Secondly, social activism has evolved and grown hmm. tremendously because of social media. We now have the likes of VDM, whose voice may not hmm. be heard if not for social media. That's speaks. right. So much that he has he has promoted an idea by his concept through social media. We have come to understand the ills and the misdeed going on within the cream or cosmetic creating industry mm. and now we are now aware consciously and there are several other things that have now come to the public right. knowledge mm. of most of us that is courtesy of social media that's true so there are several advantages several benefits one another one again is facebook monetization what does that's that right. do it creates an avenue for nobody to become persistent with creating content to mm. the degree that they can build a life out of it. Yes. Are you also aware that the likes of Sabinus, the likes of uh, Nast Boy and the rest, there is a whole set of new industry that has been bettered mm. as a result of social That's media. That's right. Those guys are making not just a living, but are impacting lives on a larger scale because all they do is create and post content. Now flip it. Imagine what would have become of the person of Sabinus, for instance, if there was no social media, if there was no social media. just think about because it. Because assessing the the stage for, for, for stand-up comedy and all that yes. is very difficult. Good. You can't just assess it. So now you see, there yes. are positive advantages mm. that social media, a whole new industry has been bettered. That's right. And billions of dollars have been made mm. from just that tiny sector. And that has also been democratized. So that anybody, without prejudice or bias, mm can belong to that same space, create and make money. But why do you think there was a delay? Mm. Because uh, uh, before, I mean, prior to this mm. monetization mm. of our, our country, Nigeria, yes. and all that, yes. other countries were enjoying this, mm. I mean, uh, monetization thing for yes. a while. Why do you think there was a delay? Why does Nigeria have to come, I mean, had to come at last okay. when other, other, <laughs> other countries have been enjoying it? Yes. There has always been a bias, <laughs> a prejudice, <laughs> against the black mm. and in very tiny simple and sometimes subtle ways those biases show off 
I'm not trying to criticize or blame <laughs> or put it on anybody. No, I get your point. But if you check critically, it may mm. not be far from that. Mm. Also, to be fair and frank, I believe they are trying to understudy the character and the personality of the Nigerian of the Nigerian space. Because you can't take away the fact that a Nigerian man can always want to look for a way to outsmart the system. <laughs> You know, that's they true. must want to be sure of credible ways to yeah, tell. That's true. Before you finally get to this place. Yeah. And just be sure that, I mean, most of those checks and balances must have been done. They are doing it already because yes, I saw true. I saw the criteria for your page to be monetized. Yes, and so then your true. kinds of content and all that is also part of it. And even that, <laughs> you can see how everybody is trolling and trooping upon themselves yeah. to smart and outsmart, outsmart. to get it done. <laughs> you know, and this would have, these are things that would have taken a natural course mm. in other destinations. That's true. You see that. So. Alright, so everything that has a positive side yeah. also has the negative side. Yeah. So what are the negative uh, aspects of a social media platform? Thank you very much. Um, when you talk about the negative impact of social media, there are many. Mm. Are there more many than the positive side? No, the number of the number of positivity mm. is not even or negativity is not even the issue mm. because positive is positive negative, negative, is, negative. is negative even if it's one mm. against one or one against 20 mm. positive is positive negative is negative, negative. Mm. as long as positive exists with negative there's a concern mm. negative in the sense if you talk of social media first of all there are words that have become true today that are negative that we didn't know about 10 15 years ago mm. and they are negative number one cyber bullying cyber bullying cyber bullying what was it what was it it was almost not in existence some years ago where, where did you start hearing it but every time you talk cyber bullying it is because social media was here mm. and what is cyber bullying harassing embarrassing abusing and attacking the person and character of people online Hmm. People have taken it as a trade because they are not physically present. You can just be in your house. People and just... are taking it as a trade. Yes, we have it today. Uh, hmm. People can just sit down and blacklist somebody. Yes, even if they don't have personal relationship, have never met that person. And because they have fans and followers, they look, can just look at what happened to this billionaire man, uh, this Lipopo's brother. Yes, what's his name again? Uh, Imoni. Imoni. Somebody from nowhere tried to leverage on the pain. Mm. of the late pope yes and said he was and thank god for i believe uh Imoni has budget for nonsense <laughs> and he had to trap budget for nonsense, nonsense. and then when he was arrested guess what he said he didn't even know anything he was just speaking he was just speaking because he had access to the social media social media cyber bullying is one of the biggest mm. problem we have and if you're not careful that cyber bullying can lead to the destruction and the damage of self-esteem on True. some people. True. Their brands, businesses and all. Can you see the consequences? Mm. Secondly, and this goes to parents to be aware, there are five structures of influence. Now, because social media is viral, is social and mm. is global, mm. right? Beside the fact that we communicate with it, we can now also share values. Mm. People can create content and dish it out. Not knowing that through those content, people can begin to borrow cultures, traditions. That's right. It's not just communication. Mm. We now can share values. Share values. We, can, we now can share cultures. We now can share beliefs. Mm. To the point that today we are dealing with five structures of influences on the social space. LGBT+. plus, LGBTI. What do they stand for? And every parent must be cautious of this because now... There are people who sit down and calculate and prepare dish out content that intentionally designed is designed mm. to infiltrate and cause people to become one of these things or more of these things I'm going to be mentioning. Mm. The acronym is LGBTI, lesbianism, mm. gayism, G, G, B, bisexuality, mm. T, transgender, mm. I, intersex, and the plus is space for other things to come wow before this day i don't know what it means to be a transgender 
I'm telling you, I think uh, I can't even remember when I got to hear that. Well, word. because most of the content are unfiltered and uncensored. Mm. Even some of our cartoons of recent. Good. And these things, these things crawl in innocently. Mm. And because we have a problem with the Gen Zs, what is the problem we have with them? The Gen Zs are not intellectually smart and disciplined enough to tell the difference between important and non-important, mm. trivial and substance. They carry up everything. To even tell you how unprepared for this generation they are, mm. they trivialize. They trivialize what is not important and substantiate what is trivial. Mm. So anything they see, they swallow it hook, line, sinker. Mm. And so there's a problem. So that somebody can now sit down and say, although I am so 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 kind of sex, but I'm feeling like, like. I am this. Hmm. When even a dog understands the, <laughs> the, the place of his bed, the parameter of his... He understands the territory of his creation mm. and they respect that boundary. Even a dog. A goat understands the territory of his sexuality <laughs> and they stay within that frame. Hmm. But what is the human problem? Intelligence. Hmm. Intelligence. The same thing that should be a blessing. It's now being twisted to be a problem. Mm. And because there's no capacity intellectually to filter between what is cultural to us and what is anti-cultural. Mm. We take down everything. And today we are dealing with a peculiar situation. Very peculiar situation. What you just talked about now is one of the major challenge. And uh, I must give you the accolade for, for going that way. Because I watched a particular cartoon recently. Uh, although not not a Nigerian maid, and then I saw that being promoted, yes. lesbianism and gayism and all it's that. It's a big problem. Like, what? Settlements for children to watch. That means it's it's it could be intentional. I mean. I mean, targeted towards the Africans yes, yes. through that social media platform, and I, I think it should be corrected. Now, uh, uh, the government at the point were considering mm. slashing out social media in Nigeria because they think it's, I mean, the citizens are using it as a tool against them. What do you think? Are we talking about the Nigerian context? Yes. Yes. Nigeria. Let's, let's, if we want to leave it within the Nigerian <laughs> context, we can, that we can draw out, out meanings mm. from these that are political. It's just like asking me why was referendum taken away from the constitution? <laughs> because always and every time hmm. it has been the interest of the politicians to silence the voice of the people. True. You know why? Hmm. Because it benefits them. Hmm. And because social media is a television station cannot openly come and say some things. That's true. Because it's regulated by a system created by them. Yes. But they don't have control of social media. That's and true. so, anybody can wake up, find out the truth, and begin to promote <laughs> it, to push it It will be a revelation of their, of their acts. Someone said something the other day. Their was, act of... Uh, yeah. It was very funny. I, I won't call the name of the station. But he said, even if fire is destroying the entire Nigeria, there's a particular station that will still be showing the Ogugu Festival. <laughs> it's an act of economic sabotage they are trying to hide. Mm. And social media will expose a lot of things. And they know these people, Nigerians will always voice their pain. Yes. You can't be in pain and tell me how to cry. You can't beat drum and ask someone not to dance. Yeah, you can't even decide. So they want to imagine a country where you create a barrier and you ask the people to run. Mm. That's the context we live in. They, so it's not going to be a strange thing to, mm. to, to infer, infer from this point that it is because of their own interests. Their own interests. And they know that this thing is going to reveal a lot of things that they do not want on the public, on the public space. Mm. And that is why they are fighting to Fact. Them, Fact. stop it. Fact. That's true. Now, the social media, you said some things about the positive impact yes. of the social media space. Yes. But again, I think uh, a child of a particular age may not find what is interesting about the social media impactful for for them so at what age do you think one should give a child access to the social media platform okay i thankfully i did a research recently hmm. on the influence of brand endorsements by hmm. celebrities on social media particularly hmm. for young adults between 18 and 30. so in that research i did some findings first of all 
it is a clear fact now. Mm. By fact, I mean statistic. Fact. Yes, fact. According to Pew 2023, that people within the age of 12 to 17 now have access to phones. Mm. Now, another research by doc- a psychologist in America, Dr. Morty, mm. confirmed also that the use of social media by this category of people, this age bracket, yes. it triggers and stimulates the reward center of the brain. Mm. And it creates a pathway in the brain that is similar to that of addiction. Mm. Are you getting my point? Mm. Meaning that we have gotten to a place where a drug addict and a sex addict is not different from a social media addict. Wow. So when you classify addiction, put social media. Social media and addiction. it is because of this age bracket of people. Confirmation, practical confirmation. Do you know how much of academic decline we are suffering right now? Go and check the statistics of the last jam they wrote. Hmm. Go and check the statistics of the recently released Y result. There's a damage that is going to lead to an erosion of interle- inter- inter- our intellectual capacity if we are not taking steps right now to do something about what is going on. Parents, I'm coming to your point. Parents hmm. must be proactive within this space 12 to 17 i mean by every look at there's a prominent before i mention what age is actually okay mm. there was a prominent uh star one of the most prominent star in football today ronaldo in a recent interview mm. said something he said there's a reason why he would not allow his son to have access to a phone not to even talk of social media mm. Even as his son has influence, he said the, the day he sneaked to create a social media account, his son, that very day he got one million followers. My God. But, but when he found that, he closed it and completely banned him access from using the phone. So, like, Ronaldo banned his son, Junior, mm. Ronaldo Junior, from accessing it. Why? Because he felt that that will stop his potential of becoming one star after his own similitude. Mm. You see, right now, social media and phone is going to be a distraction to his growth process in becoming one of the world's best athletics in the world in the nearest future. And so he banned it until certain age. It's not about affordability. It's not about affordability. It's not about that. Yes. It's not about that. Mm. That you can afford doesn't mean they must have it. It's about discipline. We are trying to create a system that is safe for you and I and everybody to stay. Mm. But if we don't take intentional steps to stop certain things for God's sake, accept the fact that these people are not ripe enough, enough. mentally mm. to separate good from bad. Mm. That's right. The destruction is that because of this primitiveness and the timidness and naivety of their mature, maturity level to understand the difference. Okay, so now parents need to be very proactive in safeguarding that space mm. there's no for me i'm not going to put an age okay. in terms of number okay to this number or that number but measure measure maturity from 12 i mean there's no there's no need to be on social media at 12 no need 13 14 15 there's no need even if that person is showing some signs of maturity. yes no no need biological maturity is not mental maturity yes yes so there's no need for them to have it but again we can't deny them from their time and the advantages that come with it. Mm. One of the advantages is that technology is Research. for them. Mm. You understand? But parents can take the initiative to save, safely guard and monitor what they do with that technology. But as for social media, complete ban. Because you cannot guard them. You can't, you can't, you can't monitor them. Completely mm. banned. But personally, as a parent, for instance, I have a system for checking. Mm. You know, I have a system for checking. For instance, if my daughter attempts to download anything hmm. with her iPad, I get an instant email. Wow. Yes. I get an instant email. I have configured that phone. But that's because I'm tech savvy. Yes. I've configured it in such a way that any attempt to download, my email gives me a lot. I check. I know already what is going on. 
Hmm. You can adopt that. You can use technology to save technology. Yes, to save technology. All right, let's even take it the other way around, Mr. Zeke. We've been yeah. talking about the child, the impact, the negative effect, and all that. Yeah. Now, the social media space is, like you said, a place for socialization yeah. and all that. Do you think uh, it should be approved or should we find it normal to find a spouse on social media? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know how to say this without being sentimental. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how to say it. I'll okay. Sentimental, but I'll say it because you ask. There are people who have found wives and mm. husbands on social media. Mm, true. But nobody should normalize looking for a wife on social, social media. media. The ones that got <laughs> husband and wife are the lucky few. Mm. They are the lucky few. However, that does not mean it's a standard. It's not a standard for looking. Why do I say this? For crying out loud, Mr. Kev, <laughs> to deal with a relationship physically is big. It's headache. difficult. How do you want to fall in love <laughs> and get married online? Online. You can find, but you cannot take away the need to get to know yourselves, meet yourself before it leads to marriage. So you think the social media communication can, is not enough? It's not enough. There are a lot of cloning and cloaking <laughs> going on on social media. That's space. right. So many content that are being dished out. So many personalities and character. Mm. Okay, there's a research that says that the use of social media has led to the decline of self-esteem in people. Mm. How? You see your mate in the same bracket who is probably lying and standing in front of a car that is not his own. Mm. And somebody takes it to be truth. And you are killing and dying yourself. Killing your that, that you are not making progress. That you are not progressing. <laughs> You start feeling less of yourself mm. social media. So there's need for us to understand these things. Mm. And we must take, like I said earlier, a proactive step mm. to mitigate these things for ourselves. Well, you, you have made the point. So, uh, choosing a wife or, or on social media, uh, after the whole social media presence, you must create another platform for both of you to meet. Because uh, what we are seeing right now, you know, someone can just even go live, mm. and yet, what the, 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 the reality is not what you see. Some of these apps can just make them beautiful, and then you mm. say, man, this, this girl is one of a kind, and then you marry her while you are abroad. <laughs> Let me even shock you. Chatbots today. Mm. can chat like human beings. Mm. Chatbots, somebody who is not human can chat with you as if... And you respond say, as if... Yes, to your to whatever human. question you have to ask. They are trained chatbots, trained to respond to messages like that. Oh, well, well, artificial intelligence is here and it has both good and bad. It actually has both good and bad because I had an experience where someone called me, someone chatted me on WhatsApp I requested for something and then I said okay to be sure that you are the one call me on a video call the person actually called on a video call and then I saw the person and it was him mm. and you know it's just that I was talking to him he was, he was responding to me but I couldn't hear his voice and then I was like oh Alpha you 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 cut off your dreads and he just laughed and all that I said okay let me do the sending and then I sent only to realize at last that he wasn't the one you see the fact that they are fake gives confirmation to the fact that original exists. Mm. People will always want to infiltrate good things. That's let me, right. Let me tell you something very clearly. As a ben I am a beneficiary of the use of artificial intelligence. Right before it even became a general concept, mm. I started making something from artificial intelligence. Mm. But good use. So it doesn't have to be. Just that who you are is what you create. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Who you are. If you're expecting good from a bad person, it's an it's an it's a wrong expectation. Mm -hmm. Who you are is what you create. what you create. If you're good, your thinking, your creations, your ideas will naturally take shape mm -hmm. based on who you are. So it's that's just it. Yes. With good comes evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the evil is a confirmation to originality. That's right. Yes. Wow, great point, Mr. Zeke. I, I must say, it's been a nice time with Mr. Zeke Thank on you. this platform, The Black Gen Show. We are still ongoing. We just want to go on a very short break and we will...
and welcome back to the Black Giant Show podcast and we are still here with Mr. Ezekiel Ogbole. That's his name on social media. You can even follow him. See, we've been enjoying ourselves here with some very vital information coming from Ezekiel Ogbole. What, what a crowded knowledge and uh, I must tell you the truth. I am learning, right? I'm learning and the social media is beginning to make sense even though there are the negative aspects of it like you yeah. have mentioned. Now, to further continue with this section, Mr. Zeke, what are the ways one I mean, can explore to make money through the social media platform. Yeah, you see, there are numbers of ways mm. you can make money online through social media. Uh, but it begins by fulfilling certain criteria. Mm. Primarily, YouTube, Facebook, mm. Instagram, you can get monetized mm. and you make money from contents that you, you create and you post. Mm. Beginning from YouTube, for instance. The algorithm is written in such a way that it favors you if you are into active content creating. Mm. And the criteria is 1,000 watch hours and 60,000 watch hours and then 1,000 subscribers to become mm. monetized. And once you're monetized, there are certain amount that comes to you on a monthly basis for just putting up content mm. that engages. Mm. The same with social media like Facebook, and Instagram it comes down to creating content and having followers mm. who engage who engage from that you can build a source of income mm. secondly influencer marketing and endorsement of brands mm. what does that mean there are people like the likes of brain Jota and the rest of them right who have become TikTok celebrities mm. and you doesn't you don't even need the refinement and qualification that comes with going to school hmm. anybody anybody just have something that engages and have followers brand you can endorse their products their services and they pay you in millions running running from one year to even two years in millions just to influence for them hmm. it's another way social media can be used so there are many other ways there are many ways and he was yes. talking about brand influencing yes we can actually influence your brand why not take advantage of the black giant show podcast to talk about your brand or to you know run an advert yeah. and have people watch yes now they will eat your money yes yeah, so <laughs> again you can sell physical products and services hmm. logistics is becoming simple and simplified through technology today. that's right so even if you have physical products you can put it up on the facebook market space yes and sell right you don't need the bricks and mortar that mm. comes with uh, storage and all of that. You can market your product there and sell. You can even do drop shipping in mm. case you don't even have the money to buy this product. You can partner with someone who has the product. Mm. They bring it. You don't even need to see the product. Just market it. Market it. And once an order is placed, the whatever they need to do from that end they will supply it and you make your own cut from it mm. thanks to social media space that's great the social media space actually have a lot of advantages now yeah. what is the psychological emotional physical and social effect yeah. of uh, the social media space yeah let me start from the social sociological impact mm. do you know right now that the consumption of social media by research still by pew June 2023 discovered that the use of social media is leading to the decline in social skills mm. for boys and is leading to loneliness for girls. Wow. Fact based on research. This is empirical. Mm. Now, what is the problem with this? We are now getting to a place socially where we are now losing our capacity to feel the impulse of people genuinely. Mm. I'm driving gradually. Yes. Me. Do you know that today, if something is going on here, if this place is on fire, God forbid, mm -hmm. the first thing people would want to do is bring out their phone <laughs> and take videos. So that they will be the first to post, to create a popular content, content and post. Mm. Social media is silencing the human empathy mm. and the humanness in us. I have witnessed this 
where a car was on fire, instead of rushing to do something collectively, people were bringing out food. So video. So video. Hmm. You can't even keep. We are now. People cannot even sustain an intellectual conversation. You know why? They are used to social media so much that if you keep them side by side, let's have a natural conversation on issues mm. that borders on life. They don't have it. No content. Why? Because they believe it's all keys, tabs, and touch, touch, touch. That is leading to a decline in our social skills. Mm. Go to a meeting today. Even in the church, there are people who are practically on their phone from beginning of service, so the end of service. to the end of service. That's true. What are they doing? Social, social media. media. Not only that, even if you go to a formal meeting with people sitting down to have discussion, social discussion on corporate matters, you find that there are people on their phone. And so that capacity to create and engage with the conversation, we are losing it. We are losing, we are losing it. our humanness. Mm. Those are the social and emotional consequences. Loneliness for girls is one of the consequences and decline in social skills for boys. Because as long as I, I can chat you up, I mean, what's the need of saying? You get that now. And so this is a problem. Why is it a problem? You must have people around you. Mm. And I want to think that the reason is not... There are homes that have gotten divorced because the man or the wife is too consumed with social media. That's right. Food in the kitchen got gone. A baby had... I've seen a baby being thrown away because of phone. Hmm. The roller was going away and she was busy on the phone. Oh. If not for a passerby that came to the rescue. It was a content that was posted there. Now you, you are driving this towards marriage and I like it. So many things happen in our own. It is because we are losing our human capacity to socialize and connect from a deep place. Hmm. Why? Because we think we can have that sense of humanity from what we see don't be deceived having one one million followers is not equal to having one million friends hmm having one million followers on social media is not equal it's not equal to having one good friend you know what <laughs> when the chips are down <laughs> when you cry out on social media <laughs> they will not be there to feel the pain the pain that you are going through Hmm. Never, it must never get to a point where you sacrifice real connection and relationship for social media for social media. Never. But wow. it's coming there. It's crawling to that point. Gradually. Where someone who have a lot of followers on social media is feeling like I don't need anybody. One, uh, like one million followers is not equal. Tell me why the rate of suicide and the rest is escalating. Hmm. People can no longer talk to themselves. But there was a sense of community that kept our parents together. That's right. You don't hear these things. Now, now, Mr. Yes. Zik, you, yes. you have gone so deep and it's bringing some point. I want us to dive into marriage, the effect of social media in the level of divorce that mm -hmm. we have now. Because it looks like uh, character has been affected. Wives are all, always online. Sometimes you come back from the from work and they realize there's no food, mm -hmm. and your wife is busy. I mean, facing the lights, trying to create content on uh, on TikTok. Now, what are the effects of social media in marriages? Sadly, you know, we thought initially that it was a problem, a modern problem with Gen Zs. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> old men and women have inherited the passion and appetite of young people. Hmm. Who to correct? No even day again. <laughs> hey, my God. This is causing a big problem in the marriage front. Hmm. Social media, if you cannot discipline yourself. Remember where I started from? Hmm. What is supposed to be assisting us is now determining how we live. Hmm. I said it from the beginning. Yes, you did. So that initially we should be controlling. It's now controlling it's us. It's now controlling us. So that you can have something on the fire and it gets it burns down to black because you are engaging on social media. To the extent smoke in the room, you still not recognize that something is burning. What did I tell you about the statistics on the similarity between taking drugs hmm, and yeah, social media? You said something like it that. can become an addiction. Wow. 
and anything that is an addiction, you can't control it on your own anymore. That's true. Because a neural pathway has been created mentally, and mm -hmm. dopamine is always released every time you engage with it. So you get satisfaction to the point that you can forget everything happening around you. That is why it's called an addiction. And the addiction of social media can be very deadly because I, I could remember before now, um, while preparing for the FAPI and other events, yeah. I could practically want to go out and meet certain people for sponsorship and mm. all that. But now I just want to communicate with them on social media. And not everybody would like it that mm. way. And then you see a decline in acceptability and mm. all that. Mm. So the social media space, when it comes to usage, I think one should also try as much as possible to mix. I mean, the, 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 the flares of our... It's an assistive... I've said it. Mm. It's an assistive. Assistive. Yes, assistive that's the word. means to assist. Assist. To help. Mm. That is not the major. Hey, it's to help mm. us in how we live. Not decide and determine living. Mm. Wow, wisdom. I, I believe everybody is getting it like I am because I am getting so informed. Wow, the Black Gen show is one that you should get addicted to because it's not a bad one. You're going to get to learn a lot of things. Now, Mr. Zeke, you've done a lot of justice to okay. most of the questions that have come through. But before I go to my last question, I also want to ask the advent of AI. Okay. Do you think it's going to gradually or uh, uh, conclusively mm. take away the place of human I mean, uh, assistance or human um, capacity? Okay. Let me say that the world must get ready for what is coming. Hmm. We have not even scratched the surface <laughs> of artificial intelligence and what it can do. Hmm. Hmm. I put up something recently that has to do with where the world might likely get into in terms of artificial intelligence, virtual reality. Hmm. There's another one coming. And I told you earlier before we began the show. A time is going to come. We are sitting down like this to interact and connect as friends. It's going to be big luxury. Wow. It's going to be premium luxury. That's true because we've not seen for a long time because we've been communicating. Virtual reality, artificial intelligence will hmm. change the name of the game. Where we can practically sit like this. Yeah. So it's it's changing the name. And now, the consequences of this rocket science innovation is that jobs will be lost hmm. people will get out of job hmm. yes but you see the good news is this with every problem come an equal chance for growth and opportunity but that's for those who would understand the system because it requires some level of education if you ask me if you study trends times and seasons hmm. you will understand that there is nothing changing right now. Hmm. Let me let me buttress for that. In the time and age of farming, farming was what it took to succeed. Hmm. So it will be unfair. Eh? It will be unfair <laughs> of this generation and this season hmm. to now say in the period of technology, technology should not be what it takes to succeed. Hey, your ignorance is not an excuse. <laughs> Wow, your ignorance is not an excuse, and why it's not an excuse is because oh my god, there are resources mm, that you can easily access and become one immediately. Immediately, just give yourself six months mm. of one, one hour every day, you can become a tech savvy, and you don't have to be a profound code writer, just knowledge of how things work. Mm. Yes, but as much as artificial intelligence, robot, virtual reality will come, don't think about it. There's never going to come a time where creativity will not be required by humans. Hmm. No fear. Now you're balancing it. No fear. Yeah, because at every point in time, even the artificial intelligence, they are just trained to do a particular thing. Creativity is always the advantage of humanity. Hmm. No, no, no technology can take any creativity from man. That's right, and humans. But create along the path along of where the world is going. Is going. Mm. 
get that. Mm. So if you can balance it, you won't be a problem. balance it. Balance it, and it won't be a problem. Balance it, both in the political circle, entertainment mm. industry, sports, religious circle, especially the religious circle. Mm. Balance it. A time is coming we may not even needfully, I mean, gather under under a particular structure called a church. I mean, it could just happen through other visual means, and then we close pay our offering through uh, those platforms and all of that. I mean, we'll be done. I mean, we're getting very close uh, to that. So, lastly, for this section, Mr. Zeke, yeah. what are the regular abuses of uh, the social media platform? Many of them, some of them we've, we've yes. put up or we've talked about them already. First of all, the illusion and deception that mm. comes and then there are people who don't understand how this thing work social media space mm. so much that we take things as they come to mm. be true to be true deception is going don't take everything you see as truth until you are verified they may be true before but not now again because of the tr- even the people you are seeing up there the things they display don't mistake photoshopped photos mm. To mean that life is good for everybody. Hmm. Right? A big lesson. Yes, you have to be cautious of this. Self-esteem, low self-esteem, is not a choice to make. Hmm. Although it's a, it's a modern concern because of social media, but it's not a choice to make. Know thyself hmm. and be comfortable with what you find about yourself. That's right. Know thyself and be comfortable with what you find about yourself. Wow, Mr. Z. Close, yes. Let me just add to this know thyself. Mm-hmm. Find in, in closing. There's a modern battle that some of these experts, marketers, scientists, technologists, are using to cook concept and then dish it out on social media. Hmm. and then you forget your sense of self and then begin to dance along hmm. because they know you will engage with their content they are, there's, a, there's what I call cultural shaping hmm. that is going on in the social media space right now hmm. that is why any look at now techno, nakedness is fashion it's fashion right now today hmm. we've gotten to a point where nakedness is now fashion and to be covered is old fashioned. Hmm. But let me tell you this, and the, the audience should listen to this. There's never going to come a time in human history where discipline, self respect, character, regard will go out of date. Hmm. There will never, there come, never a time. come a time in human history. No matter the technology that These comes. are principles hmm. that are relevant from the beginning of time to the end and of will time. continue to the end of time. Hmm. Indiscipline can never be in vogue, no matter how promoted it is. Hmm. Principle of life. So these things, you go after them because they will never fail. They will never fail. Yes. Wow, beautiful, Mr. Zeke. I, I, I wanted to ask my final, final question before we... Because I'm concerned about the aged people. Yes. Who may not be able to operate the mm. uh, the, the, the modern system of technology mm. and all that. And the advent of all of these AI and all other visual mm. technology coming up. What impact will it have on them and how will they cope? If you say age, between what age? So that we know what we are talking Our about. Our fathers, my father cannot assess. Okay. He's, 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 he's uh, educated, but he, he can't go that far. Let's put it within the point. age of 60, 70. Above. No, uh, even even socially. Hmm. Even socially. Hmm. At that age, you have excused them from their time of productivity. Wow. Yes, we have. Even the environment, the people, the corporate space have relieved them of their capacity. Oh, so there's a produce. there's a timing to that now. To what? To productivity. Mm-hmm. Yes. In the corporate space. Yes. 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 You get to a certain age right now. Even if you have been there for just two years, as long as you are that old, they take you out of the system. But we have a president who is over eighty. You see, if you talk about the Nigerian context, <laughs> there's a pecu- Nigeria is a peculiar place. <laughs> Now, and again, he's there, he's supposed to, let me put it, he's supposed to be there to provide leadership. That means borrow from his experience. Mm. 
that he has gathered over, over the years to steward a nation to growth. That is what that position should do. Just like for everybody, mm. there's a season of your life where you must sit down and your only job is mentoring the next generation. Mm. If God gives you that life to live to that point, that is your only job there. Mm. And that's why I'm telling you that if our old men have not inherited the appetite of young people, the environment we have hope that someday it will be better. But if we get to that place where, that's why I said, discipline, self-respect, mm. and all these things can never go out of can never go out of But who will give it to us? These are the people mm. to tell us, look, since when time began to when it will end, these things will, will technology cannot end. erode it. Technology cannot erode <coughs> intelligence. It cannot erode uh, discipline. Uh, 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 morality it cannot yes. it cannot wash away the place of integrity and all of that wonderful section we've had here and i believe you enjoyed every part of it my name is okay lawrence okay and this is my time i mean for the black giant show podcast with uh ezekiel obole here with me and we discussed about the social media platform its advantages and every other thing that uh comes with it now you need to go and subscribe on our social media platforms black giant tv on youtube and all other social media platform and okay lawrence okay of course on all other social media platform i think you are ezekiel Obole yeah. on other yes. social media platform and you have a lot to learn from his platform this that you have had today is just a tip of what uh he comes up with on his uh platform thank you so much for following the black giant show till we Come your way again with another section and I tell you the truth, it can only get better. Thank you.